Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about coding and decoding. Every time, there is at least one question asked in UGC net from this portion and with sufficient practice, you can easily crack the code. So let's get started. In this section, we are required to encode and decode words, numbers and sentences by observing the pattern involved. It can be broadly classified into three parts. Alphabetical coding, numerical coding and mixed coding. Out of these three, alphabetical coding is the most frequently asked portion. So let's begin with it. In alphabetical coding, a given set of alphabets are replaced by certain other alphabets according to a certain rule or pattern. Let's see this with an example. Here, the word Amen is coded as B N F O. We need to find how the word cipher will be coded as. By observation, you can see that A is coded as B, M is coded as N, E as F, and N as O. Did you see the pattern here? Every letter is coded by its next successive letter. Hence, in cipher, C will be coded as D, I will be coded as J, P as Q, H as I, E as F and R will be coded as S. Hence, this is our answer here. In the next example, the word limited is coded as this word here. L is coded as J, I as G, M as K and so on. There is a difference of one letter in between L and J, I and G, M and K and so on. In other words, you will have to go two letters back to get the correct code. Therefore, study will be coded as following. Q, R, S, B, W. In the next example, the word hospitals is coded as this word. What is the coded word for tiger? Let's look at the place value of the letters in this word, hospitals. In the first position, we have H, in the second position, we have O, and in the third, we have S, and so on. Now, let's do the same thing with this code. At first place, we have H, at second place, we have S, at third place, we have O, and on the second, fourth place, we have L, and so on. After this, compare the position of letters in both these words. H is present at first place in both of them. However, O has been shifted from second to third place. S has been shifted from third to fifth place. P has been shifted from fourth to seventh place. And I has been shifted from fifth to ninth place. Now, here is a break-in pattern. T which was previously present in the 6th position has been moved on to the 8th position. A has been moved from 7th to 6th place. L has been shifted from 8th to 4th place. And the last S has been moved from 9th to the 2nd place. Now as you can see, I have written down all the shifting in letters here. Observe the pattern. Starting from 1, we have an odd number series till 9. Then here, starting from 8, we have a decreasing even number series up to 2. The word tiger needs to be encoded in the same manner. Try this and if you need any help, please let me know in the comment section. Now let's start the numerical coding portion. In this, numerical values are assigned to the letters according to a certain pattern. Suppose, time is coded as 1, 2, 3, 4. Then what will be the code for the word emit? As you can see that T is coded as 1, I as 2, M as 3 and E as 4. So the word emit will be encoded accordingly, giving us this answer 4, 3, 2, 1. In example 2, Italy is coded as this sequence of numbers. How will you code France accordingly? In my last video, I talked about assigning numerical values to alphabets. 
Here also we have done the same thing except for starting with 1 we have started with 3 that is A is assigned 3, B is assigned 4 and so on up until Z which is assigned 28. The code word for Italy follows the same pattern. I has been coded as 11, T as 22, A as 3, L as 14, Y as 27 and therefore France will be coded as this sequence here. Coming to the last part of this video, we have mixed coding where both letters and numbers are simultaneously encoded. For example, the word paste is encoded as P26ST22 and June as 17U13E. We need to find the word whose code is RA18N25O4. Again going back to my last video, I showed a reverse order assignment of alphabets as shown here. The above mentioned codes follow the same scheme. A has been coded as 26 and E has been coded as 22. Similarly in June, J is coded as 17 and N is coded as 13. Therefore, here 18 is the code word for I, 25 is the code word for B and 4 is the code word for W. Therefore, our answer is rainbow. So that's the end of coding and decoding portion. Although, there are other sorts of coding decoding problems like sentence codings, but they haven't been asked much in recent UGC net exams. So that's all for today. Hope you liked it. Thank you.